It don't matter how hot the girls are. If your music is lame, we can help with that, though. The Professional Adult Nightclub DJ Association presents Panda Off the Charts. Brand new tracks for the strip club industry to make your set sound fresher, more energized, and to keep things bumping. Here are your hosts, Danny Myers, Elon Fong, and Bob Chia Party. Okay, we are back on Panda Off the Charts. So what's hot in the strip club podcast on Pantheon Podcast Network? We have got uh, Bob Chia Party from Strip Joints Music with us, Alon Fong up in Columbus, Ohio. I'm Danny Myers, and we've got some special guests on here today. Yeah, we've had these guys on before. As a matter of fact, it's been nine months since we had these two together, and uh, that's going to start rumors. <laughs> Guess what, Danny? <laughs> it's been nine months, and they're having a baby. I mentioned that earlier. They're having a musical, but they're having a song, a new song for us. Oh, you gave song. birth to a new Yes, oh, okay. yes, they did. Good. What's well, up? Uh, you make music, man. You actually give birth to it. It's yeah. like uh, your songs are like your kids. That's true. That's true. True. Yeah. True. You still yeah. got to you still got to come together in a certain way and create it. So yeah. Yeah. And then you talk to people and you're like, wait, did you just call my kid ugly? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so everybody out there watching and, and listening, we've got uh, Kurt Dimer and Phil X with us here. We're that's who's start- just talking. Yeah, that's who's just talking right there. Uh, we'll start with Kurt Dimer. Now, he had um, last nine months ago had just released a song, just getting ready to go on tour. Uh, he did the uh, Have a Cigar uh, cover uh, that was the Pink Floyd song, in which we got uh, to move up a little bit in the uh, in the Panda charts. It uh, it right. did pretty good up in there, yeah, and did. yeah, so we we had you on there, and uh, and and that was cool. And you also, you know, the the interesting thing is, usually when a, a singer says, hey, "I'm going to bring my guitar player on," you know, and we go, "Oh, cool, we got your guitar player," and then, but you know, he doesn't say that his guitar player is the Phil X. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You, you put V in front of my name. Yeah. That was interesting. Yeah. I mean. That makes me sound special. You yeah. are. You're a great guitarist, dude. Are you kidding me? I mean, just just yeah. play with what? Joe V. Amazing. You name it, man. He's He's been there. So uh, uh, first thing I want to talk about is how did uh, Have a Cigar work on the national uh, level? It uh, It's done very well. It's uh, streamed very heavily. Uh, we're selling it as a single CD. It shows along with Burn Together oh, cool. on the other side. You know the song i did with jeff tate mm-hmm. and uh it's done very well and it's been a great song for us we still play it live every show phil still does that solo every show it's kind of a staple of our set it's and kind of close it's close <laughs> he, tries he tries to play it but gotcha. anyways it uh it's been a good song for both of us it, it means a lot to us it's what brought us together and uh I'm sure we'll play it for many, many years to come. So we appreciate you guys pushing it at the strip clubs too. Yeah, oh, I never, I never, I didn't get to a strip club to hear it played, but ah. I'm sure you. Uh, so. Whenever you get back home, Phil and I are, I mean, Kurt and Kurt and I are uh, both from Cincinnati, so. <laughs> We're, uh, we live about 20 minutes apart, still have never met in person, but uh, I, I was trying to get out to see your shows. We're going to do that one of these days. Tell me, okay, so nine months ago we did this, and then you were just starting your tour. So you're nine months into this tour. Any uh, any crazy stories you can share with us? Well, we were on tour then. We were going on tour then with Jeff Tate, and yep, Jeff. Uh, we did that run through Thanksgiving, and then we did a show with them at the Whiskey out in L.A., which was cool. That was one of my goals when I got back into this, so that was a great night. And then we had a break kind of over the winter time, and now we're out with Ingve Malmsteen, and uh, we're with direct support for Ingve and winning new fans every night. So You two like to challenge yourselves. I was going to say, how is it to open in front of one of the greatest – rock metal singers of all time as a singer and how did it to open for one of the greatest guitarists of all time phil uh in Ingve. Yeah, it's uh, it's interesting man because you know it's gonna i always thought he, he told me about the tour hey we're going to open for Ingve, and all i can picture is like a thousand swedish shred metal fans and <laughs> five, you yeah know. he said there'll be like five girls five girls um <laughs> so we, and it's it's funny because uh you know you don't it's it's a different kind of music but we're like you know he's like a shredder guy and we're like a, a song band you know we yeah, really yeah. concentrate on strong songs so but at the same time you know i i, I can i can play a few notes yeah you but can. Uh, i think what was i saying i think it's like i, I tried it on the ingbit tour i try to play at least 127 more notes a night 
You should. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think that's a good number to start. To start. Yeah. Do warm up. Yeah. Yeah. Because you don't want to get too many. Do you have your guitar tech count the notes to be sure you're hitting them? You know, he's over there with a tablet. Just he's, out, he's, he's going like this. With the the clicker. <laughs> That'd be awesome. You got to have him on the side. And stop. <laughs> you got to have him standing right there on the stage where everyone can see him with a with a, a a pad and like a clicker and then making notes. <laughs> exactly. Hey, I wanted to talk to you too about something. You're both really interesting and yet different to, to to follow on social media. It's really cool. Like you got Phil, who's all frenetic and energetic, and got his Eddie Van Halen fetish, and uh, uh, you know, and and amps, and he just got his amps fixed, and you know, he's touring with Bon Jovi too. Uh, and so, you know, that's Phil's style, right? You're you're a very happy, energetic guy. Kurt, you are a down home, down to earth, salt of the earth type guy. It's really interesting. I know you had your mom's birthday on there, and like. You're just, it's just really cool to see your heart and soul. So just talk about a little bit, like, what is your mentality and approach to social media? You go first, Phil. Um, I, you know, I, it's, it's funny because I, it's, I, I just become, uh, I just become Phil X. Okay. It's, uh, okay. it's one of those things. I mean, I, the guy that you see on the internet is pretty much the guy that I am. Uh, yeah. When I'm getting amped to go on stage or when I'm on stage. Every guy that I am, that it's not the kid that's the, the guy that's playing with my kids when I wake up in the morning. That's, mm, that's right. a different guy. Right, 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 right. Because the, the you know I keep it separate, the family life and stuff. But uh, yeah, I mean you know every going back to like uh, Fred and Americana videos, I just uh, I had a switch, you know, you know I just get a uh, guitar. There's a guitar in my hands and a camera in my face, and it's like it just turns on. Shoot. And uh, I don't have to scripted i don't have to try to be something I'm, that i'm not i just become an amplified version of what i am mm. very cool well hopefully i'll get to jam with you on some van halen van halen covers one day if you're ever in ohio <laughs> Man, let's make a date fuck yeah you no know, i i just uh you know i'm just me i mean what you see is what you get i, I i'm a, got the low lower voice than phil and so i project <laughs> lower but I'm, I'm what you see on social media, but then when I go on stage, I'm a little different, you know, I can get a little, you know, I, I move the whole time. Phil and I go into our little world of just wanting to rock, you know, the hell out. And, uh, but I try to share anything I can that's yeah, and more live videos. You guys are great live <laughs> in life. Yeah. We're, we've been talking about doing more of that stuff. So. Yeah. You guys are so good. <laughs> Yeah. So we're just different. But, you know, the cool thing is, is we can both be who we are and we both complement each other and we both get along very well. And our band gets along very well with, you know, we get along with all of our band. And we have and a good time together. You can tell the chemistry and the songwriting and the songs coming out. So that's my question. We lead into this song, Hero. What was the, uh, you know, the, the lyrics are great. I've heard a little bit of it and there's a, you know, a great theme there. What was sort of the... Uh, you know, birth of it. As we made that joke earlier, how how did this song come together, sort of lyrically, and where did that? Well, come from? a lot of our songs come together. Is I'll just be uh, by myself, and I'll start something will come into my head, and I'll write very literal lyrics um, that of what I'm trying to say in a song. Is it the mm -hmm. catchiest? Sometimes some stay the way they are, but my bro here knows how to make catchy tunes, so I'll send him the literal hey, lyrics. I might give them a vibe of what I'm feeling. I don't think I did on this one, and but I sent them my literal hero lyrics, and uh, Phil X just turned it into this kick-ass, you know, like we will rock you type anthem. Yeah. Song, you know. So you normally start lyric first and then music, or is it does it go both ways? Well, in this case, yeah. Um, in this case, it's like uh, you know, I I I feel like I I get deep into my creative sense, and and uh, I have to connect to it. So Kurt can send me lyrics and then I, I read something that just hits me and then bang, it's a song. And sometimes it takes a couple of days, sometimes it's instant, but I just knew when he was talking about, you know, heroes that, that do exist, that, you know, anyone's, anyone's a hero came into my head and it was like, that was a really important part of the, the process. It was like, it's just, a, it meant a lot. And then at the same time, uh, the Ukraine Russian thing started happening. Right. And then we thought, wow, you know, people are really people in their own villages, you know, yeah. are helping each other out. And uh, people, other countries are coming in to help the Ukraine and stuff. So we thought, wow, it's, 
it's how it, it that wasn't the intent in the beginning, no, but right. it turned into that, you know? Hmm. Yeah. Very cool. I just, you know, I want people to realize they, how they can all, we can all contribute and be heroes. So it's more about just the people understanding that five minutes from now, you could be a hero and save somebody or help somebody. And, and we need more of that in the world now. Amen. So getting very callous in the world. And uh, we need to be kind and be aware of helping our fellow um, man. So. Amen. I was going to say, we need more of that for sure. So hopefully this starts yeah. spreading that, that feeling and vibe in the world. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Phil, Phil uh, and I also, we did, he, he does a lot of stuff he did when he was in Nashville for the police and the firemen and the first okay. responders. So all those kind of people are very important to us. And we've tried to share and do things for folks like that. And we can honor them in this song as well. So Very cool. Man, I want to play it. I haven't heard it. Ah, well, I have heard it. I, I'm, yeah, you know what? If you had heard it, you'd know that you heard it, and you'd be singing it right now because it's not- <laughs> exactly. so catchy. Yeah, but like, well, like, you're gonna like get- when Phil was singing "Foolin" on his in, in, on his Instagram. Are you like that? Oh, man, I can't tell you how many years ago that was, but I'm like, right. <laughs> I sing high. Yeah, you do. <laughs> okay, Joe Valley can't do that no more. <laughs> let's uh, let's listen to about a minute of uh, Kurt Dimer Hero. I might have gone a little over a minute there. <laughs> you can't stop. We're gonna get in trouble. They're gonna be like, <laughs> yeah, we're we're allowed to do this for review purposes, playing short samples of songs. That's how we stay legal. Um, I yeah, don't tell anybody. Once, once in a while, once in a while, you can't just press stop. Yeah, I know, no, yeah, you I, I have your permission. Yeah, yeah. Don't I have your permission. Me. Yeah, heard said yeah. it's okay. Sound exchange. <laughs> <laughs> be in my ass gap. Yeah. No, I freaking love that. I mean, the energy of it, the triple time beat, the, I mean, everything about that song. Um, is it is it called Be a Hero or is it called Hero? Because I have it as Hero. Hero. Hero, okay. It's hero. Just well, Hero. Yeah. Yeah, okay, then I got it written down right. Man, yeah, I've... <sighs> Amazing, outstanding. We're gonna be playing that one up at the uh, up at uh, Diamonds Cabaret in Dayton, Ohio. So whenever you uh, guys get back through, you have to come back in and uh, get a lap dance to your song. I'm down from Columbus and visit. It'll be great. <laughs> that just sounds weird. <laughs> Danny's not gonna do the lap dance. No, Don't no, worry. No, That's yeah, he's not saying, saying no. we're not making. Let's run into the 66 year old guy dancing for you. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. Alan Fong. <laughs> I love this. I love the beat the chunk, and the, the chunky guitars. We talked about your chunk last time. You remember we went through your history. Uh, the vocals are great. You keep growing as a vocalist too, Kurt, by the way. Um, Thank you. Thank yeah, you. man. Like your your dynamics and your in, uh, inflections are changing. And like, yeah, so just good stuff all around, man. We, f- we found our voice, you know. We found yeah. you know, a good template in the, in the song Naive on the last record. Yeah. yeah. We just found, 
And then, uh, I, you know, with keys and stuff, and me just kind of go, I know where Kurt delivers his, his uh, magic. And then, uh, and then we just, you know, make the chorus pop. So it's just really, uh, and I don't mean pop music. I mean pop, yeah. like. <laughs> Explode. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Now, you guys, what's also great is you guys all sing live vocals. There's no samples. Like, you sing, I mean, you have a great voice, too, singing backups. and right. You're yeah, and we also have Michael Vasos, our other guitar player, who's also an amazing singer and has a great range. And he's, awesome. that's, I kept that in mind when I was looking for a, a, another guy. And we go way back. We go way, way back to Toronto okay. uh, in, in the early 90s. And I just remembered I got to get this guy in here. So, and then uh, we just blend. We all blend really great. Even when, when Kurt's singing and me and Michael are singing, it's just, Every chorus just tells the story. It's pretty the hard awesome. part to find in the Barbara Quartet is the bass, and you got Kurt. So, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. And, and, and we've got uh, Kyle Gerhardt, who hooked us up here running our sound every night, who knows how to bring it all live yeah. so they can yeah. feel, hear everything. Yeah, we, we call him the sixth, man, the sixth member of the band because a lot of the audience is hearing these songs for the first time. Sure. So they really, really have to sound great. Basically, like a a grandiose P, you know, stereo system. Sure. So if they hear it, if we do our job and he does his job, people are walking away singing the songs and it happens a lot. You know, that's how you win the room. Yeah. And, you know, I think the key is so many opening bands get kind of limited or screwed by the headliners with their sound and everything else. So your sound man is so important uh, yeah. to get your sound across, even if it is, even if it is limited. I'm not saying you guys have had that happen. No, but in, a, in an opening situation like we're in right now, there's, there's, we, we only got sound checks like half the time. Right. Yeah. So, and Kyle just he dialed us in in the beginning and has this song. flash drive and just uh, puts the flash drive in his console and recalls the last show and he goes, oh, this room is a little different. We need more bass. Oh, and then cool. you sound great out of the yeah. gate. So technology is a big factor as well, but it's yeah. it's Kyle's the magic man. Now, is there a full length album that we can expect soon? We're EP guys. Yeah, right. Right now we're doing EPs. Um, uh, uh, here's kind of what's happening. So Hero just came out May sixth, mm -hmm. and we've got another single coming out on Father's Day called My Dad. Hey, <laughs> that I wrote, and that's actually my hero. So, um, oh, so cool. it kind of ties together and. Uh, I wrote it in memory and honor of him. And then our EP, six more songs, nice. are coming nice. out in August, and it will have Hero on it. But uh, five other fresh new tracks. Awesome. One, one we're actually playing on tour right now. We're opening every show with called The Dance, but the other four nobody's heard. So Nice. Well, we can't wait to hear them. Oh, I can't wait for people to hear them because – it's they've kind of skipped over ones Phil and I've already written because this guy went on a tear in January. Man, and <laughs> pretty much, we wrote an EP in Jan January. Where do you yeah. find the time, Phil? You're a busy guy too. Both of you, you know are. What? This is this is one of those things that I just love. You know, I love to uh, color and uh, and because you know, I mean, I have different canvases, right? I do yeah. the Bon Jovi thing. I do the Phil X and the Joes thing. And then uh, up the middle now, we got Kurt. It's completely different than anything else I do. I can get as heavy as I want on the guitars. And I, I still uh, want the choruses to, to be as hooky as possible. And, you know, and the musicianship. We always have great drummers on our tracks. Yeah. Uh, I play the guitars and the bass. And, and then we just uh, get Kurt's, you know, pixie dust on it. And <laughs> it, it always sounds like us. Hmm. So like it's it's kind of like I don't want to call it I don't want to jinx it and call it a piece of cake or or a, no. but it's it just seems to happen and I think it's because you know he'll he'll send me a ton of lyrics like right. he'll have an explosion of ideas and then I just uh, ah that one hits me and I feel it and I dig into that so I mean it's we've been having a pretty good yeah. <laughs> success rate. With songs. Right. And we have fun doing it. I mean, it's yeah, like, definitely it's, it's cool. It's kind of, it's, and we can't take for granted that it's easy for us because it's not an easy process to write a killer tune. But nope. Chris and Phil and I, just our producer, Chris Lord Algae, we just seem mm -hmm. to be on a poll. So, and then Chris's element is uh, pretty amazing too. You know, he's Mr. Grammy Award winning mixer yeah. and, mm -hmm. and producer. And he just, you have to, when you write something and hand it over to a producer, you have to trust that producer. Because if they go, you know what, you only did the pre-chorus once, but I really hear it again for the second chorus, so I copy and pasted it. You're not going to go, yeah, I didn't, I didn't write it like that. You go, <laughs> you're the one with the Grammys. 
Let's yeah. go. <laughs> Amen. But he's cool enough too, though that he 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 takes advice from Phil. It's and collaborative. I remember when he deleted a couple of the lyrics? Oh yeah, it's, 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 hey, I, I called him on. Hey, that lyric it was this lyric because of what I was feeling, and you right. kind of changed it. So let's go backwards. And he'll just go. Okay. And okay. then Kurt come back in, and then they, yeah. they fix it. I mean, to me, it's it's a uh, it's it's an amazing team. It's a it's it's like a world class uh, dream team kind of thing. It's uh, it's pretty amazing. Got to mm -hmm. be happy with. It. And then we have a song like uh, we had to put um, "Hero" out because we're like, we, we get to play this live, <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, well, I um, I want to hear I want to hear from uh, from Bob Chiapardi here. He's been on quiet over there in his little corner, and uh, just, Bob just strip joints music yeah. dot com. Buy them records. Buy them records. Bob. Bob. Bob's just chilling. Just chill. Well, I, I got first introduced this song when one of your managers, Andy Gould, sent it to me and says, I need you to check this out. I think this is a monster song. And I listened to it and I said, I call him back. I go, yeah, this is Gary Glitter, you know, we will rock you kind of anthem. So you go, and so we, so we talked about putting it on strip joints. And then we also talked about getting it into, uh, to sports arenas and that. So I've sent it out to a, to a bunch of like, one uh, oh. over at ESPN and some other yeah. sports guys. So hopefully we can get you into some arenas and sporting events and that as well. So licensing. I, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, yeah, call the Reds. I uh, I have my oil brand advertises in their stadium, so I think they might owe me a favor there. Yeah, I think there you go. three there people you go. saw that last yeah. week. <laughs> oh. Yeah. My reds are not doing so good. Oh, they're awful. No. <laughs> As a matter fact, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Okay, one sports thing, and then we'll cut it short. But <laughs> my Reds played Alon's Pirates the other day. We no hit the Pirates. They got no hits, and we still lost. Lost. Yeah. yeah. We lost. We didn't give up. Yeah, and a since hit. then, since then, we've had three other games, and we've scored a total of two runs in four games. <laughs> <laughs> so we're down uh, to the two worst teams in baseball. So let's be in misery together, shall we, boys? Yeah. But yeah. can't wait to see you back uh, when you do yeah. get back in town. Uh, love to either catch a Reds game with you, or uh, you know maybe go out and uh, do an adult beverage or something. We're we're neighbors, man. No, that would be cool, man. It's you, you follow me and stuff. Just hit I me do. up and let me know because when I'm home, I you know I'm uh, going crazy in my brain because I prefer to be out on the road working. Right. So. Nice. All well, right. Well, Woo. Kurt Bill will get you to Ohio too, man. <laughs> we had him here before. So we got. No, I know. No, yeah, I mean, to hang yeah. out like as a person, yeah. <laughs> as a human being. <laughs> oh, man. Kurt well, Dimer. You'll, have to to, you'll have to go to Northern Kentucky with me. That's where I go. Okay. Right. You got it. To the main. <laughs> how, how far is that? <laughs> Across the river. When I picked you up by the airport. Right? Oh, there you go. It's See, not far. It's man, it's so. Everything's so much tighter on the yeah. East Coast. Yeah. Yeah. You're a West yeah, Coast yeah. baby, right? I am now. Again. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I've been trying to get the last few years I've been trying to get uh um the uh the you know the with the kids and 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 uh you know school districts and all yeah. this stuff. I tried moving out of LA twice and we just get, get keep getting sucked back. Basically we love the ocean and right. uh, kids love the ocean. So we're back in LA again, but uh, right. you know I moved there in '97 from Toronto, Canada. Oof. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, that's uh, and I I did that to get out of winter. So, <laughs> yep. I'm yeah, jealous of that. All right, All right guys, bro. we appreciate you coming on, Kurt Dimer, Phil X. I want you guys to uh to check out the song Hero. It's on Spotify. It's on all the streaming uh, platforms. Uh, you can follow these guys on their uh, on their social medias. Again, uh, website, social medias. You want to just give us a quick rundown? Well, mine are all Kurt Dimer uh, everywhere. K K U R T D E I M E R, and that's the website too. KurtDimer.com. But yeah, I'm YouTube. Subscribe there. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and uh, check out Work Hard, Rock Hard too. Our debut album, the EP that came out last November. You can stream that anywhere too. Mm -hmm. Phil, uh, the real Phil X on Facebook and Phil X eleven eleven on Instagram, and that's that gets most of the attention from me, especially since I discovered Reels. What? <laughs> Dude, he's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, hear the thing that, 
everybody's telling me I got to get on TikTok, and I'm like, I don't want another. <laughs> but maybe we'll see what happens. You know, Your reels are great, man. But my reels are. I have so much fun, and then you know, sometimes it's a guitar lick, and it's. Uh, but you get a lot of fans. You know, you get a lot of. You got a guitar players that go, holy shit, that was, I learned so much from you. Thanks. And then you get the other like, uh, there was one, one guy I had to, I had to put. Uh, no, actually, I'm not going to go there. You, <laughs> okay. You still get some. Uh, Richie Sambora will always be the best. Yeah, of course, of course. So he's not even top ten, man. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, you know, when you rhyme off, you know, Page and Gilmore and Jeff Beck. And Uli John Roth and Tony Eddie. Adeline and Angus Young. I'm like, come on, you know. Eddie. And then he put, okay, I meant better than you. <laughs> but it's funny, man. You got to laugh at of stuff. Course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. You know, even if you get negative comments, you just let it bounce off. You. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> you at, least, at least you're listening to it. We all got the yep. shield up. Yeah. yeah. Get on, get on mean lot. tweets. What's you know, that? You come kind of open up with my voice for Jeff Tate. You might get a few comments. Yeah. <laughs> you don't dig it. You don't dig it. It's cool. Thanks for cool. giving it a try. You don't have to be mean. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks again. Always a pleasure. Hey, thanks, Anytime we get you back on again, uh, and we'll do that beer and Reds game sometime. Yeah. Yeah. Please hit me up, man. Let's there you go. Thank, Thank you so much. Sure. Good to see you, brother. Thanks. Take care. Have, great, having us. have a great Thank tour. Thank you. Of course, in the stadiums and stuff, too. Yeah, we appreciate yeah. it. Big of course. Time. We're here for you. Thank you, guys. Spreading the love. Yep. Anytime you want us on, we'll be there. Thanks for listening to Panda Off the Charts. Presented by the Professional Adult Nightclub DJ Association. Now you know what's new. Get a full list of tracks from this show and previous shows at pandaoffthecharts.com.